Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and I'm so glad that you guys are here because for today's video, we are gonna be updating my reading Bujo and creating a reading Bujo stats page. Um, so for my new viewers, welcome and my returning viewers, welcome back. Um, if you are not familiar with me, my name is Jess. You can find me here on YouTube, Instagram, but also on TikTok as Knit Plan Jess. I'm a planner, I'm a reader, um, I like to knit every now and then when I can remember to find the time. Um, and I love creating stat pages <laughs> where I can be able to reminisce about my reading. Um, clearly April was a fail. I don't know, I honestly don't like April and I probably need to go back and I probably wanna go back and redo it, but I really like what May and June have turned into. So we're gonna be setting up July very similar. So if you guys want to join me as I set up my reading Bujo today, grab your stuff and let's get started. I honestly forgot that I did not do <laughs> a January, February, March page, but yeah, I think what I might end up doing is I might end up like gluing these together and then doing April, March, January, and February because I apparently have some blank pages in here because I'm just, I'm just slacking on a lot of my, my Bujo. Um, I definitely keep up like my happy planner reading journal more than anything. But anyways, before we start, we're going to be setting it up very similar to these. So I've got a tracker. Um, this is kind of, this is like my genre tracker. Um, I'm going to be writing down how many books, how many pages. I have some little bookshelves because that's where I like to be able to put in what rating that everything is. And then I always pick two books of the month that were um, like my absolute favorite. So yeah, so I have my stats already. I have my little bookshelves. These are ones that I actually drew on Procreate. And then I just decided to print them out instead of drawing in the Bujo. Um, just so you guys are aware, I'm actually making plans to sell reading journal pages in 2024, maybe 2023. I don't know, we'll see. I will share more details about that um you know just kind of as i work on it more and as it gets closer but i'm really excited um it, it kind of it's like pages that are more geared towards my happy planner reading journal so a discbound reading journal but you could definitely be like kind of the, the intention is that you could definitely be able to buy some of the pages and then cut them out and then use them elsewhere so i've got my bookshelves love them they make me really really happy and then I have the books that I consider to be the top books that I read in July. I have this already ready because basically I read like three genres, romance, thriller, and fantasy. And then I have, this is where I'm gonna be putting my title and then my books and my pages. So let's go ahead and get started with our pie chart. Um, so the pie chart, I used a stencil, um, but this is me very badly trying to trace it. I read 16 books in July. Um, definitely not my best month, but at the same time, I'm perfectly okay with that. Uh, mainly because of the fact that I read more physical books in July than I have read like in any other month. So that's what I'm most proud about is I'm really actively trying to like clear my physical TBR shelf and read those books a lot more. All right, we're going to take, I think for this, I'm going to use a black Archer and Olive Calliograph for my title. Just keep it super, super simple. And then I like to write down how many books I read and how many pages I read. Also, if you guys remember from my previous video, when I was doing June, 
I did not have how many pages that I read because I have not I had not calculated it. I have since updated it, but even more than that, while I do use Goodreads for tracking my books, I actually ended up transferring everything over to Storygraph to Storygraph because Storygraph does a much better job of providing you with like your stats and such. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find like a lighter colored marker that I want to use. Um, so I, yeah, so I'm using, um, actually I don't, don't want to use purple. We're going to use a gray. So yeah, so I'm, I'm basically using Storygraph too because it provides me with my stats now that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be using um, Goodreads. I'm still definitely using Goodreads, but I have to make sure that I am updating Storygraph too because I counted and I actually got like some books wrong when I was writing it down. Well, Storygraph gave me the correct. So, okay. So I read 15, 16 books. Well, it was technically like four physical books, six audio books, and six ebooks. But total, they were 4,732 pages. So I was really proud about that. And then for my genres, I'm trying to remember what I did for the other ones. Yes, we have romance thriller and fantasy I had four thriller like that's I don't know I was kind of a little surprised by how many thriller books that I read during the month of uh, July um, but then again um, oh and two of the thrillers were also um, physical books as well. So probably like my top thriller of the month was The Housemaid. Um, I need to find the sequel to it. And for any Housemaid fans, she also has a third one coming out in 2024. So that's exciting. I think what we're gonna do, I'm trying to like figure out which colors that I want to use. I think Thriller, we're gonna use this one. I'm never very good at coloring these in. So this is me being super messy when I color. And then Fantasy, we're gonna do like a light blue. The fantasy book that I read um, was, what was it? Oh, My Roommate is a Vampire. And what was really surprising, because I expected that that was going to be considered a romance, it actually was not considered a romance on Storygraph. It was considered a fantasy. So I thought that that was kind of cool. Um, so I'm just going to basically write in fantasy. Just write in here what each one is. Make sure I spell it correctly. All right, then we are going to do my bookshelves. So these little bookshelves, each one has 10 books. I only read 16 books, so there are four books that are not going to be, um, that are not gonna be colored in. And I'm trying to decide how do I want to do this because I definitely want like that right there and that right there. So let's do it just like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put these down first. These are my two absolute favorite books of the month. Um, the, the Roommate Pact came out. I want to say... August 1st, I believe. Um, Love Wager came out like in April or May and I just now read it. Um, it was such a good book. Like Love Wager was one that I easily gave 
10 billion stars too. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for the bookshelves is basically take my Tombow adhesive and that's how I am going to adhere it to the page. So I, I opted to use this and just print them out because I really don't like drawing and I'm like, well, I've already like drew these, so I might as well just I might as well just use it. And I really, 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 really like how these, these turned out these turned out. Now I will admit the little plants, I actually ended up using a template and I just kind of drew over it. Um, but the books themselves are my own. That's what's that's what's important, right? But yeah, I'm gonna be I want to create like more more type of reading journal pages mainly because I'm really looking ahead to 24 2014. I'm really looking ahead to 2024 and I don't want to have to draw out my reading journal. I want to just kind of basically like print pages out and be done. Okay, so I went ahead filled in some spot right there a spot right there because this is where I like to actually write in um, the name of the book I realized that I should have also grabbed my um, I should I should have written down when that book published but I do not have it so I will probably fill that in separately off camera but that one was five stars and then love wager um just because i don't do like technically over a five star review we are still putting just five stars all right so now the only thing that is left is coloring in these bookshelves so these bookshelves i use for the rating and um, let's take a look at June because I've been using the same colors um, basically as what I use for my regular reading journal um, so we have okay so I have five four and three star so yellow is three star the green is wait no green is is three star blue is four star and then this pink is five star but the purple is my 10 star because i do like that's what i give to the books that i feel like i want to rate them over five stars even though there's technically no over five stars and what I also did to make it just super easy is I went ahead and numbered up the books with how I wanted to rate them. So I can just go in and be able to color them in. Now what I will say is I don't understand my printer because it doesn't matter what kind of paper that I use I feel like my printer always like smears the ink and it just can't dry enough and it's really really irritating to me so if you have any recommendations for how I can fix that or is there like special paper that I should be buying that won't that the ink won't smear let me know drop me a comment I would appreciate it because it just really 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 irritates me yeah, so I'm just gonna draw all of these in. Um, I was actually really surprised that I had two three stars this month when, although, I mean, last the last two months I had had a two star book and I don't have two stars very often. Um, but yeah, this, this time there was just, there was a couple books that I just could not, I could not love and it made me really really sad by the way because I would much rather give books like four and five stars but I've, I like I kind of look back at like my ratings that I've given to books in the past and I've kind of wondered 
like do I rate them too highly so I'm trying to just kind of be like a little bit more aware of what I'm reading books and I, I'm kind of actually trying to devise like a true system of how I want to rate my books so it's like basically now what I've been doing is um, if it's a book that like literally leaves lives rent free in my in my mind that is typically a five-star book if it's a book that I make my entire personality that is a 10-star book if it's a book that I really enjoyed and I could see myself reading but it also like I did not have like any emotional ties to it. I didn't have like any emotional connection to it. It was just one that I just super, super, super enjoyed. That's like a four star. That I'm no, no longer giving a five star book. Five star, it has to live, well, okay, so I should mention, it has to live both rent free in my head, but it also has to have like some, or it has to have some kind of, of, emo of emotional connection, which usually the ones that do have like the emotional connection, they're going to be living rent free in my head and I'm going to make them my entire personality. Um, yeah, I don't know. My rating scale will change in a couple months. So however I rate books, that's how I rate them. All right, so let's go ahead and do my five star, which surprisingly, I only had three five star. Wow, was July just like, I don't know. I'm really surprised actually by the fact that I only have three five star books in July. And I'm trying to like draw around some of like the little designs that I put in just because I want that to be like that. Oh my gosh, I super love this. Like this makes me really, really happy. And then I think what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna take my brown and I'm gonna do my little shelves. Now the only thing that I don't like is that I have four books that are, are uncolored. So I want to leave that kind of like up to you guys. What would you, how would you color those in? If you had, if you were doing bookshelves and you had books that could, that um, you could not fill in because you just didn't read that many books a month or in a year, however you want to do it, how would you color those books? Would you leave them blank or would you give them like, any random color maybe like gray or something just to just to kind of fill it in because for now i think i'm just gonna leave it blank all right super simple book stats page but i really really love it so we have my ratings we have my two favorite books of the month the stats for the books and the pages and then my pie chart of genres so let me know what you guys think thank you so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this thumbs up, subscribe, click that notification bell. And I hope to see you on my next video and definitely make sure you keep an eye out for my August, my August stats page that will be up next month. Bye guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.